Hey everybody, Sean and Allison here from Spoken Garden. Hi you guys, happy Sunday. It is day 125 and it's Science Sunday. You don't know, we're the Quarantine Gardeners and this is our daily video log of us accomplishing projects around our garden while under quarantine. And we're so thankful you're here today joining us on Science Sunday. If you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, go ahead and click that button down below and click the bell right next to it and then you'll get notified as soon as we post our next video. And if you want to know more about us, you can always go to SpokenGarden.com and click on the About tab. So guys, it's Science Sunday and we wanted to show you a soil pH test this Sunday. Knowing the pH of your soil is actually really important and it's a test we've been wanting to run for a while. If you guys want a soil pH testing kit, they're really simple, they're really cheap. You can get them on Amazon and we'll leave that link down below in the description. So for today, we're going to use a kit we found on Amazon that had pretty good reviews and we always go by that when we're trying new products. And we're going to show you how we're going to set it up. We've never done this before, so we're going to do this on camera. And of course, we have our own hypothesis about the outcome. So we'll talk about that in just a minute. So guys, knowing your soil pH is important because you want to plant the right plants in that area like that can that. thrive in that soil pH. And pH, in case you're not aware, is just how acidic or alkaline a substance is. In this case, soil. So by using these strips and measuring a small amount of soil with some water, we'll be able to measure, hopefully accurately, what our soil pH is. So whether your soil has a pH that is high or low or even neutral, this influences the availability of different nutrients to your plants in that soil. And so that's why you really want to know the pH of your soil. So you guys, here is our lab for today. It's a little bit different than we've been doing the last couple of weeks, if you've been following along. So again, we have this test, we have our supplies. Here's a little kit we got on Amazon. And as you can see, just a little bottle full of test strips. So in order to activate these strips so we can find out what our pH is, we need to add soil to a little bit of water. So we're gonna start with that. So here is the answer key they send along. And what we're supposed to be able to do is match the test strip at the end with one of these color bars. And it looks a little overwhelming, right? It's not as complicated as it might seem because each number that you see at the top of those color combinations is just the level of pH in your soil. And so what you want to do, and what we're going to do today, is we're going to use the testing strips to match to these different color combinations, and that is going to tell us what soil pH our soil is. So what we're looking at here is 7, right in the middle of between 0 and 14. 7 is what's considered neutral. That is a neutral pH. Anything lower than 7 is considered acidic. So you might have a slightly acidic soil with a 5 or a 6, or a really, really acidic soil would be 0. And guys, in nature, you're not going to see, you shouldn't see a zero pH in your soil. That means something is definitely wrong with your soil. Yes, anything between 8 and 14 is considered alkaline, the opposite spectrum of acidic. So we're predicting, both Sean and I are predicting that our soil is slightly acidic, but we have different predictions. Yep. What's yours, honey? I predict that the range is going to be between 6 and 7, so just like a slight acidity. And I predict it's gonna be a little bit more acidic in a range between five and six. So guys, the reason we both think it's gonna be slightly or just even a little bit more acidic than neutral is because if you look up, you'll see we have a lot of tall, tall, old fir trees in our backyard with the soil that we're testing. In general, fir needles over time will turn your soil more acidic or keep it on the acidic side of things. So this is why we think it's gonna be slightly acidic in soil pH than neutral. So controlled variables for today's lab, you know we like to nerd out a little bit before we get started. So we've got the same teaspoon we're gonna use for both the soil and the water. We'll do soil first. And we will have the same person scooping. Part of the test is, is that when we dip the strips into the slurry of soil and water, we need to let it stay in there for one to two seconds. And then we pull the strip out and we're gonna shake it a little bit to get any excess water and soil off of it. And we're gonna start our timer for 15 seconds. And at the end of the 15 seconds, we'll be able to take that pH strip and measure it against the color combinations. Are we ready? I think we're ready. So same person, me, same teaspoon, here we go. Okay. So we need two teaspoons. Two heaping teaspoons of, of soil. soil, okay. And we need six teaspoons of water. Now everybody, we stir it up, we make a slurry. 
Playing with mud. Yep, making mud. Okay, you guys, so we're taking out a test strip. We've got it ready. So it looks like that. Okay, guys, we're going to tip up. Just so you know, we're going to tip up our container here to get all the liquid into one area so we can really dip that test strip. So Allison's got it here. Here we go. One to two seconds. Tell me when to go. Go. Good to go. Pick it up. All right, now just go ahead and shake that off. Okay. 15 One, seconds. 15 seconds. Here we go, everybody. So we'll see if we, it's supposed to give good results. So. Okay, eight Almost seconds. There. Nine seconds. Okay, everybody, that's 15 seconds. Oops, Look at that. A little bit over, whoops. Oh, well. So, okay, got our guys. results. What do we got here? It looks like we got I mean, an, we got an like, orange on top. I kind of feel like we're right here. Got a yellow, we got a blue, we got a green. So process of elimination, right? It's definitely not a seven. So we're going this way because there's no yellow up here. So six, no. Nope. Five? Uh, maybe, maybe. It, it looks close, looks close. Four, uh, that four on the top, that color on the top looks a little too dark. I don't know. We're gonna find some better light. I don't know, what do you guys, guys think? I think it's a four. I think it's a five. Those are really close. Really close, so should we say it's in a range of four to five? Yeah, just to be safe. So if we put the test strip right in the middle of four and five, I really think it's four, but I think either way, my prediction's yeah. wrong. My, my prediction's pretty much wrong too. It was a lot lower than we both thought it was. Oh. It looks it looks like. Okay, you guys, that's a wrap for today's Science Sunday, and we were both wrong. Yeah, what a surprise on our soil pH. Had no idea it was that low. Yeah, a lot more acidic than we both thought. So that's gonna really, we'll take that into consideration when we, as we start to plan this area for the future. Yep, which plants we're going to put in here and uh, how we're going to treat the rest of our plants too. This will influence what kind of fertilizers we will use when we want to give our plants more nutrients. Well, and in case you guys um, were wondering, there are actually two things you can do right now. So we just found out that our soil is slightly acidic. So one, like we just discussed, we can find plants that are suitable to that kind of environment. Or two, we can amend our soil. And if you want to amend the soil, take into consideration, don't amend just the planting holes or just around certain plants. You should amend, really, the whole planting bed area so you don't get differences in pH, like little pockets of pH differences all over the place. That can really lead to a lot of interesting things, and you don't want to do that. So if you're going to amend the soil, amend the whole bed. So guys, leave your comments and questions down below for us. We love hearing from you guys. Let us know if you've ever tested the soil pH in your garden. it would be really cool to find out what it is and if you've done it before. Go ahead and give us that thumbs up. Let us know we're doing a good job. And subscribe to our channel so you get updates on our latest videos. We hope you enjoyed that today. And like Sean said, let us know if you've tried this before. I actually think an interesting test would be to try the soil in our front yard garden or somewhere else around our yard and compare the difference. Yep, definitely. And good thing because we have a hundred test strips. Yep, so got, got a couple of them. We can share with everyone. <laughs> so we hope you enjoyed that today and um, we'll be back tomorrow with Mulching Monday, another mulching tip. Please join us on our Instagram account where we're always updating and posting behind the scenes from these videos and other things that go on in our lives and around our garden. So we hope you have a great day ahead. We'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.